okay guys so welcome to the next part and uh, this part will be uh, the last part from making the low poly version so in this part we will refine our shapes of the pump shotgun and in the next one we will start actually making the the high poly version so this part will be very quick so let's first select uh, our grip let's apply the scale so ctrl a apply the scale and let's go to edit mode and we want this to look more more uh, bendy not bendy more more uh, circular so let's select this edge loop but first uh, go to edge select mode We'll select this edge and control alt shift and double click the bottom edge so this will also be selected and now if we click ctrl b as you can see we can add more loop cuts to our pump shotgun and it, it will look more more circular and more round so this is very nice so let's uh, drag it around here i add uh, two segments and let's save it and let's see how it looks okay i think this looks nice and also we can add uh, loop cut here, uh, not loop cut, bevel here. So again, uh, hold it, Con shift control left click it, not control shift left click, double time, and let's drag it around here. And I think I will add again two segments, and let's see from the side how how it looks. Yeah, okay, this looks better now for sure. And yeah, this looks very nice. And let's see, what else can we bevel? Also here, I think. Let's see. We can bevel it a bit. So here, around here, is okay. Okay, this is nice. Uh, if you want to keep it. Uh, straight so you don't have to bevel it but I will and for me it, it looks a lot better after beveling okay so this is done this part is done so let's go to the other part and uh, we can bevel this one so again apply okay guys so uh, I had a problem and uh, let's do let's do everything again so we finish on the this part and let's start with this part now so click ctrl a to add uh, to say <clears throat> to apply a scale of this one let's click shift h to isolate this part and let's go to edit mode okay so first thing we want this to be mirrored on the x axis y axis so let's add a loop cut in the middle and let's go to wireframe and let's delete the left half of this grip and now if we go and we can add the modifier your modifier and let's change the axis y and enable clipping then we will have uh, everything mir correctly mirrored on the other side okay so now we basically want to do the same thing as with the grip so we want to make it more roundish so first thing i do is i move this up this bottom uh, edge loop up so i double click g so it will move uh, correctly along the, the edge and then move it around here and now I also uh, 
uh, add a loop dot here and I select the bottom the, the loop cut that we created but only the bottom part and I move it down to make it more circular so around here and this is okay enough if you want more you can add more loop cuts for example you can add one over here and select the bottom part and you can change the shape of this to well, I will add one more loop cut and I will make it more roundish move this to the left so double click G so it will move along the edge line and maybe this I will move more to the left and here is the the shape that we get and it looks already nice and now we can actually uh, we can bevel this side and also this side so select every edge loop and let's bevel them with two segments so let's see yeah this looks more nice already and we can bevel this too so select this edge and I bevel it two times oh yeah here we have the basic shape done so let's click alt H to re-enable everything and this will be it guys for this episode we can also select everything each part and right click and click shade smooth so everything will be smoothed so yeah it looks uh, awful but uh, it's okay now for now also this part I forgot to click and uh, in the next part we will start making the high poly version so see you guys there